against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his MO. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at InfoWars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Have you ever thought about what's in your shampoo, soap, or detergent? How about chlorides, dyes, ethanol, sulfate, sodium, formaldehydes, and more? Even fragrance can indicate the presence of some 4,000 separate ingredients, most of which are synthetic. Hi, this is Alex Jones. I was shocked when I discovered I could be inhaling these additives that can lead to coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath, headaches, nausea, irritation of the skin, and mucous membranes. Now compare a Calben Pure Soap. All natural, earth-friendly, no harsh chemicals, no animal testing. They're safe, and you save 85% of the money you're spending on cleaning products now. Start saving over $1,000 a year for your family of four. Keep it natural. Call Calben Pure Soap for a free catalog at 1-800-340-7091 or log on to 5starsoap.com. Try Cal Ben Pure Soaps and I'll bet you'll never use any other cleaning products again. Call 1-800-340-7091 for all your cleaning needs. America has been hijacked. Not by Al-Qaeda. Not by Bin Laden. But by a group of tyrants. That should be a great concern to all Americans. Ministry with cutting in clips from Loose Change. And of course, we produce Loose Change Final Cut. Check it out for free on the web. We are overthrowing the enemy's paradigm. The new renaissance is upon us, and so the establishment is moving quickly. Uh, the Toronto Star, the New York Times have announced the last two days they are going to shut down the old web and have a gated, safe community, as the New York Times said, taking your freedoms for your safety. Th these are quotes. The truth is these corporate whores are in trouble and they know it. And I got news for them. You could shut the web down today. That will make people desperately seek out the truth that much faster. And I know that uh, the fastest way to make tyrants fall, as Mike Rivero says, is to make them act like dictators. And that's certainly what's happening. Mike Rivero from Hawaii, good to have you with us. I would like you to break down for the listeners your take on what's happening with this war between the exploding, diverse alternative media and the dying dinosaur lie, 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 lies, lies, lies filled corporate whore press. Well, I think you basically hit the nail right on the head. The corporate media and their, their government associates realize they're losing control over the minds of America and the minds of the world. They're trying very hard to regain it. I don't think they can succeed. In fact, I, I, on my own show, I like to draw the parallel between the reaction of the power structure when Gutenberg invented movable-type printing and all of a sudden inexpensive books were available to everybody and information was getting out beyond the control of the church and the government and those institutions that were able to adapt and evolve to that new reality survived the power structures that couldn't stand the information getting out and tried to stop it 
uh, they're not with us anymore, obviously. There, there were book burnings. There were translators of books were being burned. A lot of people don't know this, but the very first uh, person to translate the Bible into English was burned at the stake uh, as a heretic. So there was this desperate attempt to continue the old order and the old degree of control. But if you look at all of history, it is an ongoing battle between the desire by the rulers to control what we see, read, hear, and think, and every once in a while there's a technological revolution that changes the dynamics by which information flows through the society. That's what we're seeing right now. And ultimately, the alternative media, the internet, the blogs, we're going to reshape the future. These panic moves by government and corporate media to try and reassert the old order, they are ultimately doomed to failure. I think it accelerates the rebellion and really makes it obvious for people when they come out and say, I mean, this is the senator over the committee and the FCC saying they're going to shut down freedom of speech on the web, and, and they're trying to sell that to the public to, to keep us safe. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, they're trying to categorize it in, in terms of, like, child pornography or the threat of terrorists. But, you know, it's, it's amazing. If you look at the uh, fall of the Soviet Union and how hard they worked to close down the Samizdat, which was a network of fax machines that was uh, sharing the truth across the old Soviet Union, and the harder the Soviets tried to shut that down, the more people were plugging into it. Because people want the truth. They're going to go where the truth is going to be found. And that is why the audience has shifted over to the blogs and the alternative radio and why every day we hear newspapers are having to trim staff, TV stations are letting people go. They're losing their audience. The audience is coming over here because, as you said before, Americans know the media has been lying to them. Nobody likes a liar. We've been proven right time after time after time again. The audience is coming over to us. And if they try and impose a gated community, people are going to find ways around the gates. They already tried to do this in China. It didn't work people found ways around the gates they went through proxies whatever means it takes they get through to where the truth can be found and the corporate controlled press has been trying to demonize the internet and scare people and, and it's not working and they want to control their content they want to hoard whereas we with our content it's free we want people to have it we have a mission and so by its very nature they are handicapped and so they're now it's incredible i didn't think it would come this soon to have literally hundreds of newspapers announcing we need to shut the internet down we need to only have a few thousand channels and uh, the, the toronto star had their government board saying there's a lot of free entertainment and news on the web now but but we need to give them carefully crafted information for society and and we need to shut it down and i mean i mean this is pathetic and i heard bill press the fake liberal going we need to shut down talk radio and and, and put me on more stations i mean make make people listen to me uh, I mean, it's it's disgusting, and they claim it's to shut down, you know, tools like Limbaugh. That guy's discredited a million years ago. Uh, it's not for that. If you watch the Violent Radicalization Act hearings in Congress, it is to shut people like Bob Dacey and Mike Rivero and Alex Jones and Infowars.com and TheSimpleTruth.com and WhatReallyHappened.com down. And uh, you're right. People now got a taste for truth and information and alternative information, and and so it's not going to work. Pandora's box is open. The genie's out of the bottle. That 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 cow that you know that horse left the barn a long time ago you know th these chickens flew the coop and you can use every other analogy you want bob dacy your take on this war between alternative media and the mainstream media no uh, simple truth.net by the way okay good simple truth.net have to make, make that correction now listen i know one thing the the guys that are in the legislature you know the congressmen the senators they vote however they figure they're going to line their pocket whenever they can get away with it or whatever they feel is in their best selfish best interest. When the, when the public is not looking, they do whatever the heck they want. But but how what percentage of the American people use the internet every day? It's humongous, right? But now you you go messing with their internet, they are going to scream bloody murder, and the politicians are going to go, uh oh, they woke up, and they're going to have some problems. They're going to have some problems passing this garbage. That's why they're incrementally coming in with ending net neutrality, taxing the web, regulating it, <clears throat> controlling it. But but I want to show people what we do here on air, since we have a lot of uh, media here, especially from Australia. I want you guys to Google in the control room right now. Communist Chinese style net censorship proposed for Australia. I believe that's the exact headline. It was all over the news. There they just admitted it. They, they've been saying, we're banning all protests, and if you do protest, we'll arrest you as a terrorist. People still come out and protest. And they say, yes, we are going to shut the web down to only a few, this is in the news there, 
a few thousand sites that we say are safe, and they and they use the excuse of there's people teaching folks how to commit suicide on the web, and there's there's pornography, and this and that, but then they admit it's political sites and hate sites. Anybody that covers this, and see that's another thing we do. We we cover and track and analyze and and and, and uh, critique a lot of mainstream media. But before, it's always global media, the nightly news, the same stories on ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, in the same order with the same Prozac uh, and, and, uh, and uh, you know, ads on there. I mean, not just the same programming in the same order, the same ads on there. You get a Viagra ad, you get a Prozac ad, you get some, uh, you know... Uh, Prilosec. Exactly. You've got all these ads on there. It's the same thing. But what we do is we'll take a local news story that wasn't mainstream news and make it international. Uh, we will take a foreign news story.